guys welcome back to my channel so I am in an unusual spot to start out my video first of all I've got my coffee I'm actually at my mom's house and she went and grabbed us coffees because we have a lot to do today so um, if you guys are new around here I actually live in North Carolina but my husband had some work to do up here in Pennsylvania and um, so we are staying with family so while we're here I decided I'm gonna help my mom get her house um, organized and put together so number one they have been doing some renovating so they had to move rooms like piles of stuff from one room to another room and then on top of it my mom has actually sewn over a thousand masks during this time of social distancing so she's been really busy doing all of that and her house has just kind of been put by the wayside and then on top of that they just got some new furniture a couple days ago <laughs> so everything is just all really mixed up in her house so I told her you know what I'm gonna come over we're gonna do um, some organizing and cleaning and we're even hopefully gonna get to do some decorating with some things that she has around the house it's definitely a lot colder here in Pennsylvania than it is in North Carolina I was just outside and so if my cheeks look really rosy um, and I look a little windblown that's why uh, anyways but before we dig into all of this and we are planning to take more than one day of doing this I wanted to let you know that today's video is sponsored by Dragon Touch they have digital picture frames which honestly this was the perfect timing because I was able to give my mom one of their frames for Mother's Day and it's just awesome because it's a way that we can stay connected both during the time of social distancing and because we live so far apart. The Classic 10 FHD frame comes perfectly packaged to give away as a gift. It also has the capabilities to be mounted on the wall and you can display it in a horizontal or vertical position. It has a piece that attaches from the back that allows it to be placed on a tabletop. There are a lot of other options. You can also send videos as well as photos. You can check the weather in your area and you can select the calendar to see what photos were sent on which day. It, the app is really simple to use and you can send photos from multiple devices. So this is perfect for families where siblings can all send them to a grandparent. The built-in 16 gigabyte memory provides a large storage space for many years of usage. It is estimated to store over 40,000 photos in the frame. You can also put in an extended SD card and USB drive to provide more options for storage. With Wi-Fi connected, this photo frame can receive photos sent by app, email, and computer. It enables remote, instant, and safe photo and video sharing from anywhere, anytime. This frame has a 10.1 inch screen. I was really impressed by the clarity and the vibrancy of the photos that we sent to my mom and continue to send to her. Check out the link in the description box to shop Dragon Touch Frames and their other products on their website. All right, so we're gonna start off here in this room. It's kind of like a little sitting room. This is their front door. It's a little sitting room and then the kitchen goes out this out this direction. And this here has been kind of a catch-all for my mom. So we are going to get this emptied off so that we can re um, kind of figure out how we want to do things here. We may end up doing a run to the store because we're kind of thinking that bins along the bottom of here would be a really great idea. Plus, something else needs to go in here and that is like the grandkids toys and that sort of thing so we're gonna figure out something down here for that that's got to come off the wall and then there's a small couch we're taking this down there's a small couch that needs to come in here we may even get a rug if we run out um, just to put in here this is like um, a massage chair that all of us use when we come to my mom's it works really really well it gives a great back massage and um, works on your legs and your feet and stuff so that's something that's going to Stay in here but we're gonna see if we can make this space look um, very a lot more orderly and a little more cute we, I'm thinking we're gonna get like a bamboo um, blind to go in here to replace that blind I know it looks kind of bright right now but anyways just want to give a little backstory on this so we're gonna start in this room and then we will probably move to the next room when this one's done as you can see we're just got a lot of deep cleaning and give you guys some extreme cleaning motivation
right, so we are on our way to the stores to get some organizational stuff. My mom has an office that's right off of that little sitting room that we were working in, and um, she has some stuff in there that needs to be organized, so we really need like the bins to do it with. So we're headed out to pick up some things like that. Um, I think we're also gonna maybe look for a few other things, like we, she needs a new trash can for in her office, and um, we need to get the blind for that little sitting room. Kinda need some of the tools that we're gonna need to pull some of that together. We heard the sirens, but we kept our heads in the sand. And now we're back drifting, just rolling. We are back at my mom's and this is the side that I did not show you before we left. So this is like her office side of the room and we got a lot of bins that we picked up that we're going to get like a bunch of this stuff really organized and get things cleaned up here. And then this is like her little laundry area. Eventually I think she's going to paint this but we just want to get things kind of organized. There's just been a lot of stuff that have been, that's been put by the wayside while she's been busy with all the other things she has going on. Um, so we are going to work on organizing this then you saw us working on this part so we kind of minimized her toys that she had for the grandkids and got it down to this little bin here we're gonna bring a small couch and put it in here because they got some new furniture in their living room and then we got bins for in here we're gonna work on styling this shelf this little thing had toys in it um, but I'm not sure if she's gonna use it here or I may end up taking it home and using it at my house and we did look for a rug, but did not find one that we liked for this size. So we might go online and do a little shopping for that. Um, and then I'm not sure what we're going to do up here on this wall. There is some holes that need to be patched from the whiteboard. So that will probably get worked on. And I think she's got some cute stuff that we may end up hanging up here. We did get the blind for this while we were out. So we will do that. And yeah, so we got a lot of work cut out for us, but it's going to be worth it in the end. I know that you are having a hard time right now That everything seems to crumble around you I know that you feel 
Okay, it's the next day, and um, I'm gonna show you kind of what all we did. So in here, we've got all of these bins. My mom is not one for doing labels on a lot of things. She just likes the idea of having the clean looking bin, which I totally get. I can be that way too, especially in open spaces like this. And we scored big time on these bins. Um, we actually found them at Ollie's, and I believe they were like $2.99 and $3.99, depending on the size size which is so great because Target has been similar to this and I think they're over ten dollars per bin so you can imagine we for doing this project this was a huge score and it was just what we needed and she is going to be repainting this shelf it is really chipped up and just needs a fresh coat of paint but she's also repainting the walls and everything in here that's why we didn't hang anything up there yet um, because yeah it just needs a fresh coat of paint everywhere and we didn't have time to do all of that while I was here um, in Pennsylvania so we just got through the decluttering and organizing part of everything so um, in these bins so you're gonna see that this really needs paint but it's clean we cleaned it in these bins she's got like colors and crayons things like that for the grandkids this has got some other little um, kits and things that she likes to do with them in there we kind of just divided up and picked out the things that she knows that they like to play with the most and then put them into these bins and she can get one bin out at a time. This is just like an odds and end bin. We got Play-Doh. Up here she put some books in here um, just because we wanted a cleaner look and instead of having the books on the bookshelf we went ahead and put them into bins. We've also got some games and things like that because my brothers um, and as a family we really like to play games and of course being Grammy means that she has to have diapers and wipes around as well as you saw we really got the toys and stuff narrowed down and just kind of have this here uh, with most of the bigger toys in it and the grandkids can come in here and then this eventually the reason the floor is not finished there is they're actually going to be making a walkway here into the living room that's on the other side if you watch my mom's channel you might kind of know the layout of her house I'll leave the link below for that um, and you can check out as she maybe finishes up this room and makes it look a little bit more put together. We were playing with some ideas of how to hide the internet modem. Um, so it's just under that box right now. But I think my dad's going to run some wires and they may end up putting it like in this cabinet or just kind of hiding it away so that it doesn't have to be an eyesore right there. This is her cute little entryway here. This was a log cabin so they're really working. If you have old homes you know how it is. Nothing straight and you have to really patch things up to make things look decent so there's some new trim that they put here after um, getting this wall finished up and then she's thinking of doing an accent wall up the steps I'll let it up to her if she's gonna film that and show you guys that on her channel then over here is their open space laundry room area you saw me kind of digging into this so she kind of got things cleaned up here up here she's got a bin for like a lot of her Norwex cloths and things like that and then a bin for her little dog Tilly and in here we kind of made this cabinet a health cabinet she's got like a lot of excess like vitamins and supplements and things like that and then excess oil she has a place in her kitchen for all of that but she just needed a place for the stuff that is overflow and she doesn't need right now so this really got organized this was a pretty big mess um, I think I got some before clips of how this all looked um, before we dug into it this is another spot that I think eventually she wants to do some sort of accent wall behind here and paint this this will all look a lot different here you can see they were putting some more trim just to even things out um, and it will look different when she's completely done with it. Then over here is kind of her side of the office. This side is my dad's side of the office, but we were mainly focusing on her side and just getting things really cleaned up. We used a lot of these bins again because they're a perfect size for paper. Oh, Tilly, do you want out? Huh? Do you want out? Did the girls put you in your kennel? So this just got everything cleaned up over here and I would highly recommend you going to your local Ollie's if you have one if you're really looking for organizing bins because they are so discounted and they have these nice ones that I know that Target carries as well. Anyways, I know this wasn't a super long video um, but I wanted to give you a little bit of cleaning motivation while we've been away on this trip. 
So I decided to help my mom out and we tackled this little area and maybe you have a small space in your house that you need to tackle as well. I hope that this gives you that inspiration. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I do a lot of videos similar to this and don't forget to leave a comment below. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in my next video.